Tears here. I'm Tony. I'm Mary. Welcome to the channel. Oh, mom. oh mom. And this is mom. <laughs> Our mom. Our mom. <laughs> Not just any mom. And today is her birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Yay. So, here we are. We are at the Processing Center in Atlanta, Georgia for the Operation Christmas Child uh, Samaritan's Purse where we do the shoe boxes that they send over to different countries for kids during Christmas. Yes. 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 We're very excited. We always pack the shoe boxes, but we've never been to the processing center to help um, on this side of it. So this is the first time. We're very excited yes. and we don't know if we're going to be able to film anything, but if we can, we will. And if we can't, then we'll just have a little sit down about how it went. Yeah. And we'll talk about it. So, so let's go inside. We're and going inside. Mom. Okay, so we're inside the processing plant. We got name tags because we signed up. Um, this is like a four or five hour. Four, four hours. It's a four hour thing, but you don't have to stay the whole four hours. You just come in. I'm gonna put in some uh, footage here of what we see where we're standing right now. People going through the boxes, packing them. Um, this is basically just where we're gonna check the boxes for the correct items get them full if they're not full and then they're gonna go overseas from this point so we're in the so cool yeah we're in the, like the corral waiting um, and when they come get us it'll be our turn to go pack so we're just gonna wait around and I'll show you some footage So these are the full cartons of shoe boxes and each station does something different. So this is my mom here. She's waiting to get her instructions. These are the cartons that you're going to put the finished shoe boxes in. We're doing boys on one side and girls on the other and each carton has an age group. All right, so there you see Tony. What Tony's doing is she's checking the shoe boxes for money and checks. Um, money and checks are not allowed, so anything that she finds, she will be taking out, and they have a box for her to put it in. And then here's my mom, and what mom is checking the boxes for is inappropriate items. Anything that you're not allowed to send, liquids, um, war items, toys that they shouldn't be getting. Right here, I'm scanning them. This is the barcode I'm showing you here. You scan it. And then you find the box that it goes to and you scan the box. All right, here I am now. I am taping the boxes up. So what you do is you put the box on, you roll it over and you tape it, and then you put it off to the side and then the next person does the scanning. Here we are again. We're just packing the boxes. We're just checking them out, making sure it's the right stuff and exactly what we want to send overseas to these children. So when they're completely full, we put them on this little conveyor belt and they roll it all the way down. And that's where they pick them up down here and they stack them all down there when they're finished and ready to go. There are 52 tables here and there are about eight to 10 volunteers at each table. The next thing you're gonna see is the prayer wall. This is where you go if you have any prayer requests. And we're gonna look at the different things um, here on the floor. This is kind of like the mission or the things that they've done. You can see a thousand plus remote islands have received shoebox gifts over the past few years. Um, the next one we're going to go to here. Let's see what this one says. Um, 50 million children dis discipled through the greatest journey and previously the mailbox club. And then this one is 209 million children in 170 plus countries and territories have received a shoebox gift. 
All right, here's the volunteer station. So you can volunteer year round. Um, basically, they ask for three to five hours a week. Tony and I both did volunteer. So we're done. Yay! It was so much fun. It, it was, was great. A lot of fun. <laughs> it really was. It was a very awesome experience. It was really neat to see like the whole process and and you know how they go from the people's homes or the church to here and then. So all of the boxes here that we were processing are all going to one country. They're going to Congo, Congo? Republic of Congo. Congo. Is that what they said? Um, and there were how many did they say? At, at Over one a million point, boxes yeah, there were one point one million here, just here, just here, going to that one place. That's incredible. That's, That's crazy. Wild. It's incredible. Um, they also had a gear shop. I'm going to put a little bit of footage in here so you can see the gear shop. And we shopped a little, of course. Yeah, we shopped a little. I um, I bought a shop, reusable shop, bag. Shop, shop, shop. But if you have a processing plant in your area and you are part of this, or you're not part of this, and you want to get involved, I suggest you do it. Yes, it was really awesome. If you've ever, like she said, if you've ever done this before, like with your church or at home or whatever, I would highly suggest doing this part of it as well. Yeah, just to kind of see like that finished. Part of it. Yeah, and they also have a year-round volunteer program. We're both going to look into that and um, just see how that goes from there. Yay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments down below what did you think of this and are you a part of packing shoe boxes for Operation Christmas Child? Yes. And until next time, TTFN. Ta-ta for now.